Hi everyone, I wanted to do a review on one of the Shams outlines. I have tons of Shams outlines, and I picked this one to do first because this one is probably one of the best ones, if not the best one. It's the one on complex variables. So the Shams outline for complex variables is awesome. If you are taking a complex variables class or a complex analysis class, either at the graduate or undergraduate level, you should definitely have this book. This book has almost everything, if not everything, if not more than what's in your actual book. So it's extremely well written, and it really goes well with what's being taught in colleges and universities around the world today. So it matches up nicely with what you will learn in your class. That's what makes it so good compared to other books. Let's take a look and cite it. So this is the table of contents. It talks about complex numbers, and then functions, limits, and continuity, complex differentiation, and the Cauchy-Riemann equations. I have videos uh, on a lot of this stuff in my complex analysis playlist. I think some of the problems might have come from here. Complex integration and Cauchy's theorem. Then Cauchy's integral formulas and related theorems. All the important stuff, right? The maximum modulus theorem, the minimum modulus theorem, the argument theorem, Roche's theorem, etc. Here he talks about infinite series, Taylor's, and Laurent series. Yeah, I have some videos also on Laurent series. This is so nostalgic uh, going through this book. Uh, the residue theorem, evaluation of integrals and series, conformal mapping, then some more advanced stuff, physical applications of conformal mapping, and then some special topics like the ever-confusing analytic continuation. So this is chapter 6 on infinite series, Taylor's and Laurent series. So Shams gets straight to the point, right? Shams is known for just getting to the point. Uh, there's no, like, you know, beating around the bush. They just jump into it, and they give you definitions, and then they give you examples and definitions and examples and definitions and examples and definitions. And theorems, of course, too. Um, so Shams gets straight to the point, and it's very encyclopedic. Shams also has solved problems. All of the Shams do. And again, what makes this one better than many of the other ones is that the solved problems in this book coincide with your actual homework problems, probably, or many of your homework problems in your regular classes. So this book lines up very, very closely to most popular complex variables slash complex analysis books. That's why it's such a good supplement. Also the price, right? You can get a Shams for only a few dollars on the internet. You can get a new one, I think, for less than 20 bucks. Um, I will post a link in the description after I make this video. Just so many problems worked out for you. It is completely ridiculous. And then after you get through all of these worked out problems, um, they give you more. Let me see if I can turn the page here. Yeah, there's still worked out problems here. Yeah, here we go. Supplementary problems. So now they give you these. And they still give you some answers to some of these. Yeah, some of them have answers. He says A and S. So tons of problems, right? It's a really, really, really good reference. And again, the theorems and topics line up really well uh, with what's taught in the classroom. So again, this is the Shams outline of complex variables. And again, this is probably the best Shams, uh, one of the best. The topology one is also really good. Um, but this one, it's just so close to what you're going to do in your actual college courses that it makes it an absolute uh, must-have. 